So, Cahill, all preparations, I think, all okay for, for Sunday? Ah, we're only up to having a meeting now down there. We the end of the night there, and we'll meet the meeting after. So, everybody's good to go, everybody's fit and focused, and the boys really, really looking forward to it now. We've got a good weekend this week. We've got down to Dewey on Sunday and got a good walk out there. And then all the fellas and the supporters cleared the pitch for us on Monday, and we got back on the pitch Monday, and it was great now. And we really feel now that we're back to where we were three weeks ago, and really looking forward to the final. Very good. And there's a late change of, of venue at the moment. Ah, is there is some problem with Clonus. Doesn't concern us at all. You know, we're just totally focused. We're, we would play the match in Dewey, no bother at all. We're just focused on going and doing a good job, and hopefully. You know, showing everybody and also the football that we can play and hopefully we get the right result at the end of the day. Uh, thanks, Ben. I think it is a very appropriate colour this week. What do you reckon? Hey! 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 Uh, first of all, as you see, the fire brigade have to go down there to collect the real Santa. I want an imitation one. He's going down to collect the real Santa and he'll be up shortly. This year, as you can see, what the lights have turned on. Uh, they're normally just all white, but this year every second strand is blue. The bunting, the bunting was up there for a couple of months and was starting to get tattered of it and the, the committee were wondering whether even would get it down. So then they came up with this fantastic idea of doing half blue and half white. And we all know why that is, and that is because this Sunday, the Ulster final. Yes, it's been long awaited. The Ulster final is finally fixed, not in stone yet, but finally fixed for next Sunday at 1.45 in a change of venue. It's now in Brentley Park. The venue has been changed again. So, Tucker and Cahill and Andy are going to go there happy. They don't mind where to play it. As Cahill said in the, in the video, he would even go down to do it and play it. He doesn't mind where to play it. Uh, the man that we got this year, every year that somebody comes, as a special invited guest comes to turn on the lights. And this year, it's a man that will probably, he would nearly be classed as Santa to about 40 fellas down that football team. Because he is, and it's not because of his belly. He is a leader. He's an inspiration to those 40 lads that started out starting the year, and now are in an Ulster final. He stood here in this seat, on this stage, about eight weeks ago, and made a speech on how, how he loved lefties and thanking everybody. And thank Jesus, I hope he's making a speech on Sunday night again, standing in the front. He didn't think he would be back as quick making a speech, and he's going to come over now shortly to say a few words. But as I said, he is an inspiration to all them lads. They're as he says, they're like sons to most, most of them to him. He gets the best out of them, as we have all seen throughout the, the campaign. That's why the committee felt this year that they're going to ask Mr. Cahill Corey to come and be an invited guest to switch on the lights. So he's going to come over and say a few words first, himself and Anthony, and then we're going to get the plug for him to switch on the lights. Thanks very much. It's a great honour to be asked to switch on the lights. Me and Anthony feel it's a bit like jet board up here. <laughs> but it's, it's absolutely fantastic, you know, and it's been an absolutely unreal year. And we have a big cast now in front of us against Cross for them on Sunday. They've never lost an Ulster Cup final, but they've never played Neil Neve Connell, and they've never met our supporters before. Yeah. So, yeah. it's always the first time I hope to go that we can go and do ourselves and do all of you. It's been absolutely brilliant for us this year and do, do everybody proud and come back here. And we stand up here in a few hours with the cup and it'll be absolutely brilliant. And thanks very much for all your support all year. I don't know what to say, just uh, thanks very much and I'm sure we'll see you on Sunday and hopefully we'll be back here Sunday night. Now. Thanks very much.
Hello everybody in Clentish, I'm delighted to be back here again this year. I love coming to Clentish to meet all the young boys and girls, they're all so nice and so kind. And tell me that they're all going to go to bed Santa, early. did you ever think of laser surgery? I have no time, no time, no time. <laughs> so that's all right, I must, I must get going now, I have to go to, I have to go to Glen Column Kill. Do you have a special message for, for the boys on Sunday? Oh, a special mention for the football team from Glentish. I hear you have a very good team here and I wish you all the best for Sunday. And I hope maybe on day one I'll be back here on early Sunday night and I'll be listening at the door to see all the children in bed. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.